I added on a very light orange around the eyes to make the sculpting of the eyebrows appear much more defined on the final model. And one more slight highlight of blue was added on to the rigid edge of the top of the dodo's head. With my dodo puppet fully painted, it was time to head out to the woods. I hope you enjoyed that little video I put together. <laughs> now, just to say that was just a small little test video that will not be going into the final documentary. Um, yeah, just a little test, just to see on overall how does the puppet exactly work, um, the best ways to photograph it when it comes time to actually film the real thing. I think the best sort of shots we've got of the puppet a more sort of um, kind of unfocused close-up shots. Like here's sort of one of my favorite examples. You got all the leaves and debris, you know, right close to the camera. And all in the background, you got the dodo. The sky's the kind of, what do I call? Paint work, I guess. Uh, I'm still pleased with the paint work I did. Um, but other shots, uh, like the eyes, I think the eyes, they could be repainted just to make them look a little bit more like a live bird, basically. So yeah, I think the eyes could be just tweaked up a little bit. Um, I think for the final cut, I kind of want to tweak up um, the actual puppet itself by giving it some um, actual sort of feathers just along it, just to just make it look a bit more authentic than the, well, rubbery plastic look. These are quite nice shots, just close up on the beaks. Yeah, this is probably, these are the best kind of shots with, with the puppet, with the, sort of the beak detail. Um, Sort of the rest of the sort of rummaging around um, sort of on the ground, I quite like that. Hopefully once I um, do a bit of test animation with the um, animation stop motion puppet and then incorporate that in maybe in this sequence or make a new test sequence or sort of um, mix in with the um, live action puppet, it should all hopefully look maybe not seamless but it will give a bit of um, sort of... Um, sort of flair to the, um, to the video to make the dodo feel a little bit more sort of um, a bit more lively let's say. The following day I headed into town and found some black fabric for my dodo puppet. Being very pleased with the tweak results, I was very eager to go outside and film a bit of test footage to see on how the puppet now looked on film. So like I said, um, I did some revision on the head, um, here it is. Now, um, I was initially going to do feathers, but um, after realising that the feathers I'd probably be using would be um, wing feathers from the bird, and it wouldn't quite look that naturalistic for um, a head, um, feathers for a head of a bird. So um, instead, by the advice of my dad, um, he advised why don't you use some fur, and by the kind gesture of my mum, um, helped me to, well, basically do the measurements and stick the fur on itself. So thank you mum if you're watching. <laughs> I painted over the original eye with blue and then I used a marker pen just marking out where I want the black to be and just doing a little dot just for the eye um, and looking back at the original painting um, it was just a little tiny speck for the pupil so it's probably a little bit more um, closer to how the dodo bird would have looked but yeah overall oh <laughs> bin bags coming out so I got some dinosaur gloves and I just painted them up just to make them act as the um, dodo's feet. So here they are. They were originally quite grey, um, so looking back at the original painting, the dodo feet were kind of a bit of a greyish yellow, so I've just kind of tinted over a bit of yellow onto the feet. 
and of course with the claws I just kind of dirty them up a little bit just to you know because not everything in nature is going to be brand speaking new clean and all that mother malarkey <laughs> Um, the area I've gone to today, this is actually many, many months ago. I actually filmed here for my badger project uh, for a road safety video I did where it was a cartoon badger. Uh, you can find that on my YouTube account if you're really that interested. <laughs> but basically I've kind of just kind of scoured around here looking for a much more suitable habitat that the dodo would have inhabited because um, just doing some minor research the other evening. I found out that the island that dodos came from, Marisha, the original habitat, it would have had very few trees, they would have been very tall and long, and the original natural wildlife of Marisha would have looked a bit more, uh, sort of, but, but, bit more of a shrub land than they would have done as a forest, basically, so yeah. And another reason I chose this area in particular, because of these trees, not only they're very thin and tall, which the, uh, which the ones on Marisha are, at least the original um, native um, trees on the island, but also they've got vines which kind of gives it a bit of a tropical look to it so I think this is quite a nice area now unfortunately the only thing that's lacking today is the sun it got a fair bit cloudy on my walk here so I'm just hoping it's not going to rain down that badly <laughs> but we'll see anyway though let's make some dodo footage Admittedly, it wasn't the easiest task to put together. I had to photograph everything by myself, so I had to leave the camera running, run into spot, and roughly puppeteer as to where I thought the puppet would appear on camera. Meanwhile, making sure that myself wouldn't appear alongside the puppet. There were definitely some bloopers. But after much trial and error, I finally got it down.